Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We're going to be reviewing uh, my friend Cerulean's Daryl because he did get the world record and we're going to be going over his games. And if you guys want to check him out, his links will be in the description and I'm going to pop them up right now. Also, I will be making a Tara video for world record as I did set a brand new record for Tara. So that will be hopefully coming tomorrow and let's get right into it. So here we are into the first game here where we have Tara, uh, Rosa and Sandy. Tara and Sandy is a very good comp here but I think Daryl works better because of the mobility Daryl has and it's just very good and Tara and Sandy is just a very good combo and then Sandy and Daryl are also a very good combo so I think this comp is just like glues in together and works really well. So as you see Tara does get taken out, I mean get take uh, takes me out and it's really a good roll there I do catch the save right there and that did wonders for us because or else that we would have been down and Shrin not going up he's going for the kill good play by Shrin there as you see we are highlighting on Shrin's plays Shrin does have roll now so he's hopefully gonna do a bit of roll boom goes in the pocket and does another roll and he gets another roll off well played by him and they can easy score now Shrin's roll just overwhelmed them and allowed him to take out two of them and we scored so Shrin playing absolutely amazing right now Shrin also has another roll He's going in, going in, take out the Tara there, Madman right now, and he's, he's nearly going down, but I do shoot in the middle and take out the ball and score. I see World Record Daryl pulling up the star player, nothing new there, anyways, into the next game. Here we are into the next game where we are going to be placing other tanks. The thing about Daryl is Daryl is so good against other tanks because of his cancellation. And it's just, it's just amazing, especially against Frank. Frank can't really super when Daryl has his roll. So as you see, Shrin's going to be going ahead of Daryl. Frank is just useless here because Daryl's just amazing against Frank. Anyways, Shrin's in this pocket now. He's going to die, but I do pick up the kill. He still dies though, but I do have my super, so I'm just going to wait. And I'm going to break the mid. Boom, breaking the mid right now. And now, Shrin's pushing in. Canceling defenders, Shrin can. You can defend it pretty decently. I do have my Tara pull right now. Boom, we do go down. There is a Primo there who's giving us a lot of trouble. Good takedowns by uh, Swissa. And now Swissa is rolling in. That's why I'm talking about the Frank and Daryl like 1v1, which Daryl always wins. Like There's never a situation where it doesn't win except for when Frank just supers. Anyways, I do have the ball. I do get taken out right now, but Daryl has the ball, which is what you want all the time. Daryl just rolls in, gets the ball up. Oh, unfortunately, he couldn't, but you know, he has a roll again. He's just rolling left, right, and center. It's just what Daryl's meant to do. You're meant to just cycle your roll because it's just so overwhelming for the enemy team to deal with. I see right now, Shrin catches the ball, boom, scores right now. He just did like 10 rolls in the space of like 30 seconds. It's just madness. Anyways, Matt's broken in the middle, so Shrin just get his roll and go to the middle. Frank does have a super, so he's probably gonna try and super Shrin. Shrin cancels it right now, well played by him. Morse is trying to do something, Primo jumps. Nothing can really be done there. Shrin has his roll again, he's gonna roll into Frank. Frank just gets bullied by Daryl, it's just a such a great 1v1 slash matchup for Daryl. Now Shrin has a ball here, he's gonna be looking forward to do something. He's gonna try and roll in. Getting behind the Frank, didn't kill the Frank, I get a triple tower ball and that's gonna be game number two. Good combo there by me and Shrillian, it just works really well and now we'll be going into game three. Here we are into the third game, we are playing against Rico, Rosa and Dynamite. Dynamite is very good here surprisingly because of all the walls and Rico is just so annoying again because of the walls and he does, that Rico did have the, I think, second star power so it's just very obnoxious to deal with and it's just not fun to play against so i'm literally pushing up because i don't want to get pressured back by rico trillian going up doing the dara roll easily being able to score there so that's going to be one nil to us and we just have to do the same thing here but it's gonna be harder since rico is close to his super and when it's, once he gets his super he just absolutely annihilates anyways rico can't do anything right now i tried to take out the rico unfortunately i failed I'm going to be supering the mid now, pulling the Rosa. Rosa did not get affected that much by the super. Anyways, it's fine. Shrillian with a misplay right there, unfortunately. 
and but he does get the ball, he's gonna get killed and he's gonna walk it in. Very quick game, showing why he has the world record. And now we're going into the final game. This is now the final game which got him the world record Daryl and we're gonna be showcasing you guys here. So against Sandy, Nita and Shelly, not the best matchup for Daryl because Shelly just hard counters. But good thing I was on the uh, Shelly the whole time because Shelly can't get to Trillion, which is a good thing. But she can just do his own thing on the right side. He does already have his super. Well played by him and he's going to be easily able to score right now. He's walking in because Daryl is very tanky. And he scores right there. I do have my super right now. I'm flashing it. I have my super. Trillion has a super. Uh, Sandy's super is not that important against a Shelly matchup. And I do get my super killing the Shelly right now. Leaves him open, but that bear is just annihilating Trillion. Nita's actually surprisingly good in the meta. She's just, she came out of nowhere, and she's just here to wreck everyone. Anyway, Swisser here with the bear, getting hit by the bear, which is healing the Nita. Not good for us. Trillion does have his roll. You can roll into the Sandy, hopefully get the takedown on her. And I do get a double pull, and boom, that's literally a teammate right there, except for Sandy. Trillion has his super right now, so we're going to be looking forward to pass it to him so he can do his roll. And Switzer has the ball right now. Shelly is just weighing behind the wall so he can just super. Shelly is very good at defense on basically every game mode. That's her mechanic. You don't want to play aggro. And her first star power is to star power to play. And now Swiss is going to get the kill. Swiss gets a double kill there and he does have his super. Which is good for Daryl because Daryl doesn't have long range, so the sneaking ability does really help. Anyway, so, so we're just passing it off right now. He does, Trillion does have a super. He's gonna wait out. Shelly's just playing very defensive there. I'm trying to break the mid, trying to score there. Unfortunately, couldn't score. Trillion sees opportunity but couldn't do much. At least he's not dead right now, and he does have a super again. He's gonna try and take out the bear because the bear is what pushes our whole comp back. And now Trillion has his roll, so hopefully just rolls on someone. Unfortunately, another miss uh, roll by him. And But we see the middle slot. And now Trillion waiting, and we do score right there, getting us the world record Daryl. Yeah, again, if you guys want to check out Trillion in the description, I'll link his Twitter, YouTube, everything he owns. And that's the end of the video. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.